hello friends in today's short video i will be discussing apo b is to apo a1 ratio so first of all let's briefly see what are apo b and apo a1 protein apo b is a primary protein component of ldl cholesterol or the bad cholesterol why it is a bad cholesterol because it carries cholesterol to the peripheral tissues especially the arteries and the blood vessels where it increases the risk of plaque formation leading to atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disorders so this apo b is the main apo lipoprotein of ldl while apo a1 is a primary protein component in hdl cholesterol known as good cholesterol because it removes the cholesterol from the arteries high levels obviously of apo a1 or hdl indicate better cardiovascular health how do we calculate this ratio calculation is very simple we have to divide the value of apo b by the value of apo a1 and the unit should be same for both the numerator as well as denominator that is for both apo b and apo a a1 whether it is milligrams per dl or it is grams per liter and how it is interpreted if it is less than 1 it is considered as an ideal ratio which indicates a low risk of cardiovascular disease if it is 1 to 1.2 we consider it as a moderate risk and in these patient this ratio should be monitored regularly and if it is more than 1.2 then it is a high risk for the cardiovascular disease and finally let's see the clinical significance of apo b is to apo a1 ratio it helps in the assessment of the risk for cardiovascular disorders it is useful especially in individuals where they have normal ldl levels but other risk factors are present so it is better in assessment of the risk for cardiovascular disease than normal lipid profile secondly monitoring it helps in monitoring the effectiveness of the lipid lowering therapy like statins and lifestyle changes by constantly monitoring the ratio we can monitor the effectiveness of this therapy thanks for watching do like share and subscribe my channel